Annabelle is, again, another interesting character because she runs from James 2 all the way through to James 3. She lived that long. So she's one of our useful characters that can carry a lot of history for, for us. We know, again, very little about her, apart from her marriages. Annabella was the youngest sister of James II, and she went to, um, well, arrangements were made for a betrothal between her and Louis, um, Count of Geneva. And she went to Savoy and was duly um, entertained for years at the court of Savoy, waiting for this betrothal to result in a marriage. But in the end, uh, the marriage never took place, mainly because Charles VII of France's foreign diplomatic ambitions changed. And Annabella, after all this time, really looking forward to becoming, in due course, the Duchess of Savoy, uh, ends up being returned to Scotland to be married to a Scottish nobleman. For me, what that allowed me to imagine was a, a relationship which, which again represents the damage to children and in this case the damage being the, the, the child marriages of all these little girls um, being taken away at a very young age from their familiar situation, from their original household and farmed out all over Europe for these marriages of status. She's on her own, you know, she doesn't know anyone. She is very, very damaged and she, you know, she was she was rejected by this man that she went to marry, which must be devastating enough. And then to go back to a country that you just feel like isn't yours and your place isn't there. Is yeah, she's yeah, I think she's very damaged as a person. So she finds a teenage Annabella finds herself reunited with her brother. And Annabella really represents that vestige of family that still exists. And gradually they come to be quite a close unit. So the, the relationship we see between them is one in which she, her and him were kind of clinging together as the last surviving ones um, when the real nasty stuff was kicking off when they were little. And then she's returned as a troubled teenager and he's a troubled teenager and they have to find out what the relationship is again now. And you see um, a new generation of, of young people start to assert themselves in a court that until then has been made up of um, anonymous grey-haired elderly men who are trying to control everything. <laughs>